Whoa. Oh, there it is. There it is. Flood watch. Breezy with lows in the mid 30s. Chance of precipitation 50%. Thursday. They they don't mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming partly cloudy. A 20% chance of rain showers. Highs in the mid 40s. For Thursday night and Friday, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 30s. Highs in the upper 40s. Friday night and Saturday. Clear. Lows around 30. Highs in the mid 50s for Saturday night. Clear. Lows in the mid 30s. Sunday. Mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 60s. The 8 to 14 day outlook for Monday, April 8th through Sunday, April 14th calls for both temperatures and precipitation to be above normal. Normal highs for This actually might be a joke because it's April Fool's Day today. Bro, oh, this is the worst thunderstorm timing ever. It's April 1st. At 10 a.m. at Indianapolis, it was cloudy. The temperature was 51 degrees, the 2.48, and the relative humidity 89%. The wind was southeast at 8 miles an hour. The barometric right now it's just chill. and steady. Around central Indiana. Muncie, Maybe they don't tone it. With a temperature of 50. It was cloudy with a temperature of 52 at Eagle Creek Air Park and 55 at Shelbyville. Elsewhere across Indiana, it was cloudy. It was 45 at South End, 43 at Fort Wayne, and 48 at Lafayette. Terre Haute reported 54, Bloomington reported 57, and Evansville reported 71. Just outside Indiana, skies ranged from partly sunny to cloudy. It was 44 at Chicago, 54 at Champaign, and 55 at Dayton. St. Louis reported 67, Cincinnati reported 56, and Louisville reported 71. Once again, at Indianapolis, it was 51 degrees with cloudy skies. This is Noah All Hazards Radio KEC 74 in Indianapolis. Flood watch in effect from 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight go. Time this evening through Tuesday afternoon. Flash flooding caused by excessive rainfall is possible. The areas affected include all of central Indiana. The hazardous conditions are expected from 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening through Tuesday afternoon. The following impacts are expected. Excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Additional details, repeated rounds of heavy rain and thunderstorms are expected overnight which may lead to flash flooding. Around two inches of rain is expected through Tuesday with locally higher amounts possible, especially if training thunderstorms occur. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood you should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings be issued. And now we'll look at your forecast for Indianapolis and Central Indiana. Okay, flash. Flood watch. I'm surprised they did not tone that. It's supposed to be toned all the time. They probably don't do it up north. Anyways, bye.